I honestly believe that if you're focused and passionate and driven, you can achieve anything you want to achieve in life. Most people don't reach their dream, not because of failure. Most people don't live their dream because they give up. You see, it's not the failure that stops us, but that most stop at their first failure. Those who succeed don't stop at one failure. They don't stop at 10 failures. They don't stop at 100, 1,000, or a million. They say, this is my goal, and I will do whatever it takes to achieve it. I will learn the lessons from any failures. I will learn faster. I will work harder. I will work smarter. And I will not quit until my dream is a reality. Self Discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. This idea and this notion that you can be anything you want, you can accomplish anything you want, right? We hear that, you've heard that from the time you were little boys. You hear that now. You can win a championship, MVP of the league. You can do whatever you wanna do. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. Ang pangalan ni Jimmy Alapag ang hindi basta-basta makakalimutan ng mga basketball fans. Kahit saan ka pang magtanong, mula bata hanggang sa mga senior citizen, ay kilalang kilala siya. Nakuha ni Jimmy ang respeto ng mga basketball fans sa buong Pilipinas at maging ang mga Pinoy na hindi mahilig sa sports ay kilala siya. Nabigyan ng nickname si Alapag na Mighty Mouse dahil sa kanyang abilidad na magbigay ng malalaking impact sa laro. Malaki ang passion niya para sa basketball at kahit na maliit lang siya, malaki naman ang kanyang puso para sa sports na ito. Naging veteranong basketball player si Jimmy Alapag sa Talk and Text at naging memorable team captain din siya ng Gilas Pilipinas kung saan naging kilala siya dahil sa kanyang mga malalayong 3 points shot. Alapag again from long distance. Oh! Mapapaisip ka naman talaga kung paano naging icon si Jimmy sa larangan ng basketball sa Pilipinas kung sino ang nag-impluensya sa kanya at kung ano ang mga experience niya sa buhay. Kaya naman sa episode na ito ng Noipi Stories ay pag-uusapan natin ang kasaysayan ni Jimmy Alapag na kilala rin sa tawag na Mighty Mouse. Si Jimmy ay pinanganak sa Los Angeles, California. Siya rin ang pinakabata sa kanilang anim na magkakapatid. Sinabi ni Jimmy na naging supportive naman ng kanyang pamilya sa kanya Mula nung siya ay musmus pa lamang. Well, I was very fortunate growing up. You know, I come from a big family. I'm the youngest of six. You know, I've had great family support from the very beginning. It started from an early age. Both of my brothers played high school and college basketball, so it was very easy to follow their footsteps with the game. Nagsimulang magustuhan na lapag ang basketball nung ipinakilala ito ng kanyang ama at nakatatandang kapatid. Sa kanyang murang edad ay naramdaman na niya na may espesyal siyang koneksyon sa basketball. Hindi rin naging big deal sa kanya ang kanyang height dahil kahit hindi siya ganun katangkad ay napaka-supportive naman ng kanyang pamilya sa kanya. Well, growing up, I was never the biggest kid in class. Uh, usually I was the smallest. Pero okay lang sa akin kasi you know, having a supportive family um, who just you know, was always there for me. I remember I was maybe five or six years old. We would go out front in front of the house. He'd he'd make me practice my dribbling and practice my shooting. You know, my my dad made the game fun. Tuli na nagimprove si Jimmy sa basketball at sa murang edad nga ay mas magaling pa siya sa kanyang mga kaedad na kaibigan. Pero sure, dahil sa US siya lumaki, hindi basta basta ang mga challenges na harapin mo don, lalo na sa larangan ng basketball kung saan ang height ang pinakauna nilang tinitingnan. May mga ibang tao na susuko na agad dahil kulang sila sa height para sa basketball. Pero hindi ito ang ginawa ni Jimmy. Instead, mas lalo pa siyang nagsumikap para mahasa ang galing niya sa basketball. Naging stricto ang kapatid ni Jimmy sa pagtraining sa kanya. Minsan pa nga daw, eh naiiyak na lang si Jimmy dahil talagang seryoso ang pagtraining na ginagawa ng kanyang kapatid sa kanya. My brother Crispin is uh, by far my, my biggest influence uh, with basketball. He... He taught me the game from a very young age, and that day I remember so many days training in the gym. And Minsan, I'm crying because he was tough on me. 
And I used to tell them, you know, when you play against kids that are bigger than you, they're going to foul you and they're going to be really big and strong. You have to be able to deal with it. So he'd go to the basket, I'd foul him. Oh, why are you hitting me so hard? Why are you hitting me so I'm like, I'm not hitting you that hard. You got to get used to it. Again, he goes, I foul him. You don't understand what I'm teaching you, but you will later on. You know, he always took the time to explain why he was being hard on me and he was preparing me for, for the future. And he wanted me to be the best basketball player that I could be. Noong nagsimula sa high school si Alapag, ay hindi siya nagdalawang isip na ipurso ang kanyang kinahihiligan na sports. Kahit kapos man siya sa height, ay hindi ito naging hadlang para sa kanya. Sabi nga ng kanyang high school coach, ay malaki ang naging impact ni Jimmy sa kanilang program kung saan nagawa pa nilang mapachampion ang kanilang high school team for the first time in 25 years. Sa interview sa kanyang high school coach, ay puro papuri ang sinabi niya tungkol kay Jimmy Alapag. First time din noon na makita ng kanyang high school coach ang leadership ni Jimmy sa basketball. When I took the job at Upland High School, people told me, don't go to Upland High School, you can't win there. But little did they know, there was a ninth grader coming in that refused to lose. Back in high school, we weren't very known for, for basketball, especially my first year and second year high school, we were terrible. And I don't like losing, and Jimmy Alapeg took the program to New Heights. As soon as Jimmy came to Upland, the program completely turned around, and uh, he will always be remembered for that. So fourth year high school, we, we won the league championship uh, first time in, in 25 years. So, you know, it was a fun time and, and an exciting time for, for the school and for the community because it had been so long to finish my high school career with the league championship. Uh, it, was, it was a great feeling. The most memorable that I could remember with Jimmy Alapeg was we lost the game. And the reason we lost the game was because somebody close to the program and very close to Jimmy did not show up for the game. Jimmy didn't say a word, and Jimmy called the team meeting. And Jimmy, with great tact, said what he needed to say in very, very close quarters. And the young man that didn't show up to the game, he was looking, and I thought he could lash out at Jimmy, maybe grab Jimmy, but he had such high respect for Jimmy. And then after that meeting, you saw the leadership, and you saw the respect the entire team had for Jimmy, and we went on a long winning streak and we went far into the playoffs right after that. Pagkatapos ng buhay niya sa high school, ay pumasok siya sa California State University kung saan inestablish niya ang kanyang sarili bilang isang clutch 3-point shooter at unti-unting lumaki ang reputasyon ni Alapag sa California at naibabalitan na rin siya sa kanilang local newspaper kung saan umabot din ang balita na ito hanggang sa Pilipinas dito na siya inibitahan para mag out sa national team I actually spoke to Coach Ron while I was still in the States and he's the one who initially invited me to, to try out I was I was literally at the point where I was just going to go back home and right as I was making plans to go back to the US I was cleared. Pagkatapos ka ng kanyang short stint sa national team ay nakuha siya sa draft ng PBA bilang pang-10 draft pick ng Talk and Text Phone Pals. Sa pangunguna ni Alapag ay nabuo ang kilalang dynamic duo nila ni Asi Taulaba kung saan pinangunahan nila ang TNT sa championship ng All Filipino Cup. Sa pagtatapos ng 2003 season ay nabigyan si Jimmy ng Rookie of the Year Award kung saan nag-average siya ng 14.5 points, 7 assists at 6 rebounds. Pinagpatuloy na alapag ang kanyang pambihirang laro sa PBA at ipinasok din siya sa mythical team at pati na rin sa All-Star Game na ginanap sa Cebu. Nakapasok ulit sila Jimmy sa championship noong 2004-2005 PBA season pero nabigo silang magkampyon dahil nagawa silang pigilan ng Barangay Hinebra. Noong 2008 PBA season ay muling nagawa ni Alapag na makakamit ng championship kung saan tinaob nila ang Alaska Aces sa finals at maging sa 2010 PBA season ay nakakuha ang kanyang team ng back-to-back -back championship at dito rin siya nabigyan ng MVP award at sa paglipas nga ng mga panahon ay nagpatuloy ang kanyang paghakot ng iba't ibang awards. I think when you're, when you're a kid you, you always visualize one day being an MVP as a, as a professional uh, basketball player and to, to actually live out that dream, um, it was special. But I think 
I, I think that MVP is, is just not just a combination of, of you know my hard work you know, through all the years, but but I think more so you know the coaches that I've had, the, the players that I've been fortunate enough to play with. You know for a fact that, that I didn't win that MVP by myself. You know, I had a lot of help. And, uh, Pero mas nakilala pa si Jimmy sa kanyang pagpasok sa Gilas Pilipinas kung saan siya ang napiling maging team captain ng national team at noong 2014 ay nagawang makapasok ng Gilas Pilipinas sa World Cup. Dito ginulat ni Alapag ang mga international viewers dahil dito niya naipakita na hindi hadlang ang kanyang height para magkaroon ng nakakabilib na performance sa basketball. Buntik din matalo ng Gilas Pilipinas noon ang mga top teams gaya ng Croatia kung saan nanalo lamang sila sa kalamangan na 3 puntos sa final score na 81 to 78 o gaya ng Argentina na tinalo ang Pilipinas sa apat na puntos sa final score na 85 to 81. Ang 2014 World Cup ay tumatak sa puso ng mga Pinoy basketball fans, kaya naman marami sa kanila ang nadismaya sa 2019 FIBA World Cup. Noong Nobyembre ng 2016 ay formal nang nagresign si Jimmy sa PBA, kung saan pinasalamatan niya ang mga taong sumuporta sa kanyang karyer at syempre maging ang mga PBA fans. I'm here to announce uh, that I won't be coming back for the upcoming PBA season. It's been an amazing 13 years, uh, but turning 39 next month and having left everything that I have on the basketball court, it's time to walk away for good. To the best fans in the world, uh, our PBA fans, uh, you guys have supported and, and it showed me so much love uh, from the beginning and uh, I can't thank you guys enough. This is a goodbye. Uh, I'll still be seeing you guys soon, and I like and I look forward to helping the next generation of, of basketball players in our country. Pero hindi po kaya nagretire na siya sa kanyang team, ay tuloy na siyang mawala. Kasi loko yung coach ngayon sa Lapag. Ma alalang nagawa pang makapasok na Lapag na maging assistant coach sa NBA under Sacramento Kings. Hindi to Miguel si Lapag na tulungan ng mga bagong henerasyon ng players ngayon. Kaya naman mabuhay ka, Jimmy. And don't forget to subscribe to Noiti Alliance.